Hi guys, my name is Ravi Prakash and I welcome you all to Rodha. So let's continue statistics here. Okay, so in the statistics in the last videos we have seen about uh, measures of central, uh, central tendency and uh, dispersion. Uh, okay, dispersion. And now we'll see uh, about standard division and variance. Those are parts of measures of dispersion actually. Fine. Yeah, and before that we have this T20 test series coming up guys. Okay, so T20 test series is starting from 16 November 7 pm. I told you earlier also it's a great practice for people, right? It's just a small test series. It's just a 20 minute test series as, as the name for this T20. Okay, and uh, in this 20 minute test series, daily till cat, actually people don't who don't want to give uh, lend, uh, who are giving mocks every day or do they don't want to give lengthy mocks uh, uh, every day or they want to uh, just revise all the concepts, right? So we have prepared a very good database of the question in this uh, 20 questions per test. Okay. And this will be continued every day from 7 p.m. onwards. And we have the analysis on the weekends also for that, right? So we can just enroll with the link in the comment. I'll put the link in the comment, right? You can just enroll with the link. And you can give every day. It's free for everyone, right? It's free for everyone. Okay. So every day, 7 p.m., just give a test of 20 minutes. It's free for everyone. It contains good question, 20 question. It will, and by cat in next 12 days we can revise all the major concepts to these questions. Okay, so make sure that you are giving this and making uh, you are making full of uh, full utilization of all this uh, free test given by an academy which is prepared by us uh, and uh, questions are also we are prepared in a very uh, good uh, kind of you can say good cat level question expected questions which, which could be in this uh, cat as per the new pattern okay this is a more of a revised test series guys okay so do enroll with this and give this test at 7 pm on 16th november fine Chero, let's continue the statistics statistics right okay now see here so basically we need to see what is the what is the standard deviation here right so what is the standard deviation okay so it was a uh, measure of, uh, we were seeing a measure of uh, the central tendency and dispersion here, right? Okay. So basically, uh, in this dispersion, this fourth one we did in the last, in the last video, uh, I think we did a, with the uh, range, we did quartile deviation. Okay. And we did the mean deviation. Yes. So fourth one is basically the standard deviation. Okay. Fourth one is a standard deviation. Now what is a standard deviation here, right? So basically it is the root mean is square deviation okay about the mean so it's basically it is its basic definition is it is root mean is square deviation about the mean about the mean okay and it is its formula is given by a standard deviation is equal to under root summation of x i minus x whole square divided by uh, total number of this is n actually fine so x i minus x upon whole square divided by n okay so now if you see here this is a standard deviation okay so basically what does this mean here so x i is the all the data from x1 this data ranges from x1 x2 x, x3 huh this is actually here xi okay and the x is the um, mean deviation which is where which will take for all the data actually right x is the what is x here x is the mean deviation okay so x is the mean deviation right now if i if i if i see this if i see these values here okay for example if i want to calculate uh, just to show you this formula is quite uh, if, if you don't want to remember formula you can just remember it stepwise okay so no issue if, if you don't want to remember formula here to see like we need to file find d we need to find the standard deviation of 2 5 8 11 and 14 correct so what we'll do is in first here in first step in first step we'll calculate the mean here what is the mean 2 plus 5 plus 8 plus 11 plus 14 divided by 5 correct what is that so 7 8 15 20 is 40 by 5 40 by 5 is equal to 8 okay and the second step will calculate the 
root mean square about this for a standard deviation we'll calculate the root mean square about the mean that means root mean square means take the under root here okay then this is then this is 8 here okay so this is 2 right so you can take xi minus x that is 2 minus 8 whole square plus 5 minus 8 whole square plus 8 minus 8 whole square plus plus 11 minus 8 whole square plus uh, then we have got 14 minus 8 whole square divided by again 5 divided by what divided by again 5 here okay so you get the value here this is i think 636 plus 945 plus 045 plus 954 plus 3690 90 means root 90 by 5 is equal to 18 okay and i think root 18 here guys okay so root 18 here is uh, basically 9 into 2 that is 3 root 2 so 3 root 2 is the is standard deviation that is the answer right so what we did just calculate the mean and go around with the standard deviation now okay we can calculate standard deviation take one more example guys standard deviation of 2 5 7 10 13 and 17 correct now let's solve it so first we'll calculate the mean right what is step one here step one will calculate the mean here what is the mean mean is 2 plus 5 plus 7 plus 10 plus 13 plus 17 divided by 6 you'll get 7 14 24 37 54 by 6 is 9 so mean i order that got as 9 okay now once once i got this mean as 9 so we'll now calculate around the mean right the difference let's take the difference now we can just quickly do it 9 minus 2 that is it will be or 2 minus 9 either we can do it right so for a standard deviation will be we just calculate this okay so 9 minus 2 7 is square 9 minus 5 4 is square 9 minus 7 2 is square 9 minus 10 minus 1 is square 9 minus 13 or you can just take the positive right because it is always square guys right? it won't matter if you take negative or positive inside okay so it's always a square actually you just take the positive difference don't make it complex right 9 to 13 difference is 4 9 to 17 difference is 6 okay now divide you divide this by 6 here 3 2 sorry i missed something now 9 to 2 7 9 to 5 4 9 to 7 2 9 to 10 is 1 okay sorry 9 to 10 is 1 actually 1 we have missed here 9 to 10 is here 1 9 to 13 here is 4 9 to 17 here is 8 that is 8 right so 49 plus 16 65 plus 469 170 plus 16 uh, 86 plus 64 is 150 150 by 6 is root 25 so 150 by 6 is root 25 what is root 25 root 25 is 5 years so 5 is the answer right so 5 is the standard deviation year okay this is a standard deviation and then the fifth one is quite simple guys fifth one is the variance and variance is nothing it is always the is square of the standard deviation variance is always the is square of standard deviation standard deviation is square is the variance also we can note that standard deviation is a non-negative data standard deviation is a non-negative data non-negative data right okay now once we're done with this okay let's practice few questions okay to get these things actually so the question here guys this question here says that find the standard deviation find the standard deviation and variance of the observation of the observation 8 12 20 8 12 20 24 and 36 correct now let's calculate the first standard deviation guys so we will do in step first step get the mean what is the mean value simply add 8 plus 12 20 40 6400 100 by 5 is 20 second step take the root mean square about the mean right from 20 20 to 8 it should be 12 square okay 20 to 12 its difference is 8 is square 20 to 20 difference is 0 is square 20 to 24 difference is 4 is square 
identify 16 square right divide by 5 once you calculate the value this is the standard division right okay what is the value what is the answer 144 plus 64 is 208 plus 16 224 plus 256 is 480 so 480 by 5 will get here 96 this is root 96 right so what we are getting here is root 96 okay that is equal to 4 root 6 so what is the variance so variance will be equal to a square of a standard deviation a square of a standard deviation that is equal to uh, root 96 square that will be equal to 96 so 96 is the answer for this question okay so this is the funda about standard deviation variance i think that uh, we, we can solve all such questions now okay now let's solve one a couple of more questions we can do guys let's practice uh, with the pre previous what we've done in the previous parts also okay next question uh, find the find the range quartile deviation quartile range quartile deviation and mean deviation for the data seven eleven twelve fourteen eighteen twenty four and twenty six okay now once you get this point here so three four we had seven data here right okay so what is the range first of all what is range guys range range is quite simple that is maximum minus minimum value. What is the maximum minimum maximum value of the data? 26. What is minimum? 7. But 26 minus 7 range is 19. Then that's the range. Simplest thing, right? Okay. What is the quartile division here? So for quartile division, QD, it is equal to Q3 minus Q1 by 2. I need to calculate Q3, right? What is sorry, what is Q1? Q1 is n plus this seven terms here, right? So n plus 1 by uh, fourth so n plus 1 by 4 term here okay that is 7 plus 1 by 4 that is second term what is second term here second term here is 11 okay so second term here is 11 similarly what is q3 here guys q3 is thrice of n plus 1 by 4 term okay so now we will get uh, this uh, 3 n plus 1 by 4 that is 3 into 2 3 into 7 plus 1 by 4 that is equal to 6th term what is 6th term here 6th term is 24 okay so second term is 11 6th term is 24 what is quartile deviation so quartile division is what 24 minus 11 by 2 that is equal to uh, 13 by 2 uh, right 13 by 2 is 5.6.5 that should be the answer that's a quartile deviation okay third one we want to calculate here mean deviation so what is mean deviation to calculate the mean deviation we will first calculate the what is mean here right so what is the mean here okay so let me just calculate the mean part here the mean deviation so to get to get the main devi mean deviation you can just calculate the mean right 7 plus 11 uh, just get the mean here what is the mean guys mean is uh, 7 plus 11 18 12 30 44 62 86 and 112 just add the data 1 1 2 divide by there is 7 data that is equal to 16 so 1 1 2 by 7 mean is 16 you can just take deviation now okay so 16 to just take the positive difference again if, if you remember right we discussed in discussed in the last video 16 to 7 that difference is 9 16 to 11 that difference is 5 16 to 12 difference is 4 take the always positive difference or take the mod both things are same right 16 to 14 difference is 2 16 to 18 difference is 8 16 to 24 difference is again 8 positive difference okay 16 to 18 sorry uh, somewhere 16 to 18 difference is 2 then 8 and then 10 26 right that divided by 7 what is the answer 14 to 18 20 22 30 30 40 40 by 7 is the mean deviation so that's the answer guys okay so i hope you all also got this that's the basic fund about the mean deviation range quartile deviation okay so in the next video again we'll Practice few questions of statistics to get a good command over this topic. Okay. Thank you for watching, guys.